The client dashboard is where you access the files of your clients who are on QuickBooks Online. The trial balance feature in QuickBooks Online Accountant has two components. One is the working trial balance itself, which gives you an opportunity to review a client's financial data, see prior year balances, and track changes. Another component of trial balance is the tax mapping feature, which allows you to map QuickBooks Online data for importing to Intuit Tax Online to prepare tax returns. Let's talk about the working trial balance. Look for the tax column header on the far right. If you don't see the tax column, click on the gear icon at the top of the client dashboard grid to make it visible. To start the review, hover over the tax trial balance column for that client, then click start review for the tax year you want to review. The working trial balance screen opens. You can change the tax year by clicking on the drop down next to the tax year at the top. Click the pencil icon next to that. The tax settings box opens. Here, you can define the tax form you will be using. The accounting method and tax period defaults from how the client is set up in QuickBooks Online. The main part of the working trial balance screen gives you a list of the chart of accounts. As you move from left to right, you see prior year ending balances, the period under reviews ending balances, and the current year's activity. Moving to the right, there are columns for adjusting entries, which are journal entries that we as accountant users marked as adjusting journal entries. Next, you see columns for other transactions. Other transactions represent any changes made to the period we are looking at after we open the trial balance tool that are not adjusting journal entries. They could be journal entries added that were not marked as adjusting entries, or checks or bills that were added or changed after the review was started. They're dated in the review period, so in this case 2016, but added or changed after we open the trial balance tool, either by you or by your clients. Moving further to the right, the next set of columns shows the adjusted balances. The numbers in these columns are hyperlinks to transaction reports for that account for the period being reviewed. Click to see details about the transactions making up the balance in that period. The transaction report opens in a separate tab. The last two columns allow you to write notes and add attachments. The top of the page allows you to view the activity in this tool by all users, just the client users, or just the accountant users. This area shows a timeline of the changes and additions made since we opened the trial balance tool. Even if you don't do tax returns, you may want to use this trial balance tool as a guide for year-end review.